What's going on there guys? Good evening. It's the Earthmaster here on this beautiful Saturday night. Uh, July 16, 2022 is a date about uh, 8.58 p.m. California time. Latest quake shows a 2.2 earthquake into the area of Alaska. A little bit of activity also showing up there on the Barrett Seismograph Station. Uh, real quick, I want to give a just a real quick shout out to these newest members out here. In fact, all the members here on the board. Uh, Joel, I believe is that that's how you pronounce that. Uh, Alicia, Mike, uh, Melanie, Pamela, Catherine, Maria, Pamela, Ray, still in SoCal, Jesse, Julie Curry, Seismic, uh, Robert, Robert, two Roberts there, the Fly Lady, John and Jay Fuentes, Albert Sanchez Jr. And Dolores, thanks for jumping in and being part of this team. Uh, looking at the latest USGS map here shows the activity. Uh, kind of ramping up still along the western Pacific over here around the uh, Fiji Islands area where we're starting to see a little bit of deep movement, including a 4.3 here within the last hour. Uh, that earthquake striking at 593 kilometers below the surface. Pretty deep earthquake there uh, for the Tonga Trench region. Of course, that all tends to get stuff moving. Uh, in the area of the Solomon Islands and Papua New Guinea. So watch this area pretty closely here for some possible further movement. Uh, Mariana Trench did, did see some activity as well today. It looks like a 5.0 around the Guam area. And uh, a little bit of further activity up and down the board there along the Mariana Trench. Uh, definitely seen a large scale push of activity here this morning and overnight. Uh, looking at some activity. Back building though here along the South American plate and areas around the Caribbean plate here seeing a little bit of seismic activity increase. Looking out at the uh, South America region, seeing uh, quite a few fours. Four is a magic number out there, including a deep, uh, 156 kilometer deep, 4.4 under the Ecuador area, down into the Peru Chile Trench. There's some movement out there into the, uh, the um, Santo Domingo area, Puerto Rico region, Dominican Republic. Area seen a couple earthquakes here, including a 4.5. Uh, this one south of St. John's here along the eastern edge here of the Caribbean plate. Pretty uh, kind of an unusual quake, but uh, either way, some activity ramping up there. Also, a couple aftershocks here in the Easter Island area. Of course, this is a region that did see some, uh, some larger scale movement, including a, a 6.8. Right, so since then, seen quite a bit of aftershock sequences, a 6.8 here occurring about, uh, oh, about five days ago or so. That tend to uh, kick off a pretty good swarm of activity along the uh, coastline over here, along the South American region, and also areas up into the Middle America Trench. So uh, looking at uh, possibly seeing that kick back up here with some more uh, earthquake activity here. A couple fours there in the Easter Island region within that same zone. Uh, let's see what we got for Hawaii. Looking uh, like it's lighting up here a little bit around the Pahala area of Hawaii. Nothing major going on around any of the uh, volcanoes. No major changes, that is. Uh, still looking at Kilauea being active. Southern California is starting to light back up. I think what we're seeing here, uh, and it tends to happen, is that teeter-totter effect. For a couple days, we've seen the West Coast areas along the South America region and up into the Alaska area pretty heightened in earthquake activity. Uh, but uh, today, this morning, uh, and overnight last night, we've seen a big push of earthquake activity make its way through the Middle East and over towards the Mediterranean Sea region. Uh, looks as though we may be looking at a return of activity here along the Southern California region uh, because that is lighting up pretty crazy. A uh, couple ones out there, but uh, it's pretty active here for the last hour or so in Southern California. Ridgecrest area getting in on quite a bit of activity as well. Mostly microquakes as far as the 2.5 map and above uh, goes. No, only one earthquake down there near the uh, Ocotelo Wells area, 3.1. So uh, the majority of quakes here in California, all microquake activity right now. Pacific Northwest looks relatively quiet. Uh, there's some activity around the Mount St. Helens region. A couple small microquakes. I do want to pop up the tremor map. See what we got going on at the Cascadia Trimmer. A little spread out activity uh, down around the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Of course, this trimmer activity is down dip, about 35, 45 kilometers underneath this area. Uh, a lot of times this movement definitely will put strain, further strain and tension here at the Cascadia zone. 
Uh, let's check out Mount St. Helens while we're over here, see if they got anything uh, showing up on their recorded seismograph stations here at the uh, dome station. Station I like to monitor pretty, uh, pretty closely. A couple earthquakes there. Well defined on the local seismograph station there over the last couple hours. Uh, looking earlier in the day and afternoon time frame looks about the same. A couple scattered small microquakes throughout the day today. No major movement going on there at the Mount St. Helens area though. Uh, Yellowstone uh, looks pretty quiet over here. Not a whole lot popping off there. Eastern part of the country, or at least the Southern Plains area, getting in on a little, little activity around Oklahoma. Some of this movement here around the New Madrid zone from this morning. Nothing new popping up in that area. Uh, Alaska region, a little act activity up there as well within the last hour, it looks like. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, again, the majority of this, some older movement from last night and this morning. Uh, kind of came, kind of, kind of. It seems like it come comes around, right? We're getting that little loop of pressure once again. Kind of skipped the Atlantic Ocean, though. Uh, we did get some activity further south here, into the Southwest Indian Ridge, a 4.5, and also in the Scotia Sea, uh, 4.9. But uh, looks as though activity may be returning here to the North American Plate and the South America region there, uh, with activity really lighten up here in the California region within the last hour. Uh, earthquake activity at Yellowstone, not a whole lot going on. Some type of interference over here. That is not earthquake activity. That's not what it looks like on a graph. As uh, far as earthquake activity goes, might be one right here, a little speck. But that's about it. Nothing spectacular going on uh, there at Yellowstone. Let's go ahead and check out space weather real quick. By the way, folks, um, you only got a little time to enter the 75,000 subscriber giveaway. I will be closing the comments here on that video soon. Uh, the drawing for uh, six lucky people will be held tomorrow afternoon. And make sure you are a you got to be a subscriber. Make sure you have notifications on uh, so you can get notified when we do the live drawing. Uh, of course, if you miss it, doesn't mean that uh, we skip you. If your name is pulled, you still win regardless if you're watching or not. We'll get a hold of you somehow. Uh, but it's kind of best if you are watching. That way uh, uh, you can follow the instructions uh, that we give the winners in regards to claiming the prizes. Six people. Woohoo! Uh, space weather activity. A little heightened activity right now to the sea range. That's been like that for the past couple days. A couple M flares popping up there as well uh, yesterday uh, from some a, a couple various sunspots. Uh, 3057, 3058, 3059, all looking somewhat dynamic. Also 3055 kind of growing down here now that it's facing away from Earth. Uh, but a couple of these sunspots could provide us with some solar flaring and they will be uh, Earth directed here real soon. Uh, let's see, 99% chance C flare, 45% chance in the M flare category and 10% for the X flare. Uh, far as any geomagnetic storming goes, there isn't any. Currently on the map looks pretty green, although we do have some coronal holes that will be facing us here very soon. A little bitty one right now, 03, but 01 could be uh, providing us with some uh, heightened activity here in the coming nights once it is uh, Earth directed or facing us, I should say. All right, guys, have a good night. Stay safe out there. Just wanted to get this quick update in. And uh, again, we'll catch you guys tomorrow for the drawing. It'll be live here on the channel. It'll be, just, it'll be a separate live stream, so you'll get a notification of us doing the uh, drawing. And, uh, of course, if you miss it, it will be posted live. Or it'll be posted after we go live. So, uh, yeah. All right, guys. Have a good night. Stay safe out there. And we will chat you guys a little bit later. Peace out.